G'day gamers, Freddy G here, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking uh, the two paywall units up against each other. Uh, so we got Crescent and also Valkyrie. Um, so Valkyrie with a new uniform, uh, the Love and Thunder uniform, got to admit, I uh, love the way they've styled her uh, and the detail, so the beading in her hair, just the general uniform, man, she looks badass. She looks, she actually looks really hot as well to be perfectly honest up against crescent um who doesn't look hot and really is annoying to play and realistically valkyrie has been annoying to play to date as well um but let's see if this um i don't even know what she looks like man i don't even know what is that like a power ranger a miniature power ranger i'm not really sure what the story is with crescent i've never really liked her never really built her up as a result of that um so yeah, so just going to do a quick ABX run with uh, Crescent. I'll just show you the back half of that. And just going to take Valkyrie in for a run. Uh, no uniform advancement, so basic uniform. Uh, and see if she's going to be worthwhile spending a Mega Mythic uniform ticket on. And go from there. What else been happening in game? Well, I just got my Thor unlock second potential around about 15 minutes ago. So we're going to rank him up a little bit. Uh, I'll get him up to level 80, of course. Uh, but at this stage, we'll just um, we'll just get him up to we'll just get him up to 60, 72. I keep on getting mixed up. There's so many bloody so many different uh, levels and that sort of thing these days. Um, what do I think of the update generally? Well. I know that this bird is absolutely cracking it uh, in terms of world boss legend. I was lucky enough to get her artifact drop from a gold chest, so I'll be building her up. I haven't got there yet, uh, but I've just got a basic proc. I've got a crit damage, lightning damage, 160 proc, and mucked around with her for about 10 minutes in the, in the motel the other night while I was traveling, and she wrecks. She is insane. So definitely going to be building her up uh, and sort of giving, running her through her paces. Haven't done anything with Thor so far at all. Haven't even tried him. Um, got obviously got his um, his artifact uh, from the new uh, legendary mission, and still got a CTP of energy on him. But he got his uniform up to mythic. So this is kind of where I'm at. I have to admit, I'm going to say this right now. I do feel like it's a significant missed opportunity. Um, by Netmarble by not introducing you know other characters from this movie uh, and you know we haven't had a new character for a while and I really think Korg would have been you know a really really good choice to bring into the game he's a popular character he's a funny character I'm sure people would have bought him even if he was a subscription but would have been even better if he was not paywall at all and sort of you know something for the players uh, also kind of a little bit bummed um, that Gore has only really come to the game uh in in this sort of extreme extreme legendary battle uh i kind of was hoping he would come as a playable character or at least a world boss legend um but really kind of disappointed that it's just sort of in a legendary battle i also kind of disappointed the legendary battle was so bloody easy as well um but some decent rewards from there and two and a half thousand crystal you get some crystals back all that sort of stuff okay so not not terrible not terrible uh on the bottom of this video going to be having the six winners for the crystal vouchers um that i sort of advertised on my last video so if you see your name scrolling along the bottom along the bottom of the screen at any stage that means that you've won what else is happening in game just quickly before we get into these runs world boss world boss is something we need to resolve this is something uh, we need to be farming the new materials, so we need to be farming, um, you know, the, the life seeds, the carbonadium, most, most importantly. Uh, we need to be farming this stuff to try and get a tier 4, and as of yet I have no tier 4s. Um, but to do this, we're, we're losing out on books. I mean, so obviously I, I upgraded Jane Foster straight away. Uh, as, after the update, I updated Electra before the update. And I've still got zero books. I really feel World Boss Legend is just not dropping books at all. Or if it is, it's very, very rare. And you have to have them as boss of the day. Um, I really think that Netmarble should consider having World Boss, Le World Boss uh, Legend. Uh, five entries per day. I'm cool with that. That gives us, you know, lets them sort of, you know, promote their materials. And, and sort of prolongs the grind. Um, and prolongs prolong the grind for the tier fours, but I think they should actually increase. They on top of the five entries uh, for World Boss Legend, they should increase the number of entries for uh, World Boss uh, Ultimate. 
so we can have a bit more of a chance at getting some books uh, and also um, some Odin's blessings because really that has ground to a halt um, since the update. So guys, let's let's get into this run and see how each of these uh, units performs. Never been a huge fan of Crescent, so just going to throw that out there. All right, with uh, 10 seconds to go, we're roughly around the 9 million mark. So let's see if we can squeeze a few more points out of Crescent here. Um, never been fantastic with her, but I sort of think, you know, maybe 9.2, 9.3 is a reasonable score with my build uh, for Crescent. And we'll just nip in, just quickly refresh ourselves with the build as well uh, before we uh, take Valkyrie in with a run uh, with her Love and Thunder uniforms. Here we got Crescent. Got some double physical attack Odin's Blessing on, on her, so two of those, and I think three other Odin's Blessings. So really not a massive build, but a really epic artifact. So I got really lucky, got a five-star artifact on Crescent. Um, got no artifact at all on Valkyrie, or hang on, I do have an artifact, but it's not her own artifact. So Valkyrie's own artifact will provide a massive boost uh, to her score and normal uniform. So let's just jump in. Uh, take her for a run. We're going to use She-Hulk League. Uh, She-Hulk lead. You can see she's stacked with Odin's Blessings compared to Crescent. She-Hulk lead. And um, She-Hulk's got an insight. So the last run that I did uh, with Crescent, uh, Valk and Sif, uh, didn't, there was no, no unit that has an insight. I have a Rage on, uh, on Sif as well. Um, so let's just see how we go. So starting off with uh, 3, 5, 6, 4. Uh, and then two, and really just going to try and repeat that rotation. She does have quite a few hits on her fifth skill. Uh, still does miss the proc here and there, but a lot better than what she was before. Like, a, like shitloads better. Having said that, she really could do is some uh, guaranteed crit rate to really sort of uh, guarantee that proc a little bit more, in my opinion. So I'll let this run for a bit. Uh, stick some names across the bottom of the screen for the winners, and uh, come back at the end. So 9.3 million, that's a pretty solid run. Um, did miss some procs, did miss some procs, but 9.3 million, so that's what's that, an extra 150K on top of uh, Crescent. Have no, um, I don't have her artifact at all. Her artifact will give a massive boost 
uh, and normal uniform. So taking your, her uniform to Mythic will give her a massive boost as well. And it looks like she's worthy of it. Okay, I've got 12 Mega Upgrade tickets, so not shy on those. So yeah, she'll definitely be getting the um, the Mega Rank Up. Guys, let me know what you think of the vid. Uh, hope it's helped and hope it's uh, giving you some insight as to the power of the Valkyrie. Alright, have a good weekend guys. Bye.